in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you three vocal compression mistakes that you should never make without wasting much of your time let's get into the video what's up guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new to this channel my name is jay i make music production tutorials on youtube so consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a brand new video the first mistake that you should never make during vocal compression is wrong placement of the compressor so let's say for example you've got a vocal in the mix and the first thing that comes to your mind before adding any plugin is starting with a compressor of course you need a compressor on the vocal to kind of control those dynamic ranges in most cases it's not advisable to start with a compressor and this is why your vocal needs some cleanup you need some corrective eq control those frequencies that might be popping out get rid of some of the noises that you don't need in the vocal and then you can compress that vocal what happens when you start with a compressor before a corrective eq or anything to clean up your vocals is is you end up boosting all those bad sounds and bad frequencies making it very difficult for you to control them later on in the mix so it's always important for you to clean up your vocal do that corrective eq and then you can compress your vocal the second mistake you should never make during vocal compression is using one compressor to achieve more so let's say for example you have a vocal with too much dynamic range and you put your compressor there you start compressing your vocal you go up to about 8 db of gain reduction on the compressor to achieve that stableness in the vocal so you use one compressor to come all the way from zero to about negative 8 db gain reduction and the problem with that is by the time you reach negative 8 db gain reduction you take away all the energy or the life from the vocal the vocal will be okay it will be consistent in terms of dynamic range but the vibe will be gone so you completely destroy the vibe doing that with one compressor just squashes everything else you might not be able to hear that the vibe is squashed but maybe at the end of the mix you may not just feel the same vibe that you felt in the beginning so what you can do to not make this mistake is use at least two compressors in the same vocal chain to achieve this so you can use the first compressor and just go about maybe negative three negative four gain reduction then you can add another compressor to do the rest of the work that way the stress is not too much the third mistake that you should never find yourself caught up in is too much use of presets don't get me wrong i've used presets i save presets here and there i use presets myself what i mean is this i know from the interaction here that most of you guys that are subscribed to this channel are most likely upcoming producers when i started music production i was too scared to make changes because i started out with presets in cubase when i started i would always go to the preset on my compressor which is called lead vocals in your face I would never change anything on this compressor because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anything. I'll just start with the preset and leave it there. And that is how I was using my compressor. But the badness is music differs. Your vocals will change. The intensity in the vocals changes. The levels changes every time you mix different types of music. So at a certain point, your vocal might need you to adjust the attack for it to sound good. It might also need you to adjust the release, the threshold. But if you stick to one preset, that means you're blocking the potential goodness of that vocal that you have at the moment meaning you achieve something less than what it should actually have been but what i would advise you is put time into studying a compressor learn how it works and some of the parameters so that you make these changes according to your taste i've got so many videos on a compressor i think i'll leave some links in the description you guys can check out the compressor and see how these parameters work so that you learn how to do it it's very important that you make your own changes to the compressor rather than dropping a preset there thanks a lot guys for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it the thumbs up because it helps the channel grow also feel free to comment in the comment section below let me know what you think and some of the experiences that you've had with the compressor also feel free to follow me on instagram and facebook at jthemg let's interact there see you in my next video peace